Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the lecture series of data quality management. Today in this lecture, we are going to learn about how to create a reference table. Now, before beginning with the practical of reference table, let's understand what is reference table. So reference table is basically a way to standardize your input data into the output format. So there should be one proper common format in which the data should be stored for multiple input values, right? Now, there are basically multiple ways to create a reference table. We, in the previous videos, we have already done how to create a reference table using empty format. How do we create a reference table using flat file data object? And today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a reference table using the profiles, right? So profile, is it again a data object which is available in the data quality and it plays a very important role in your managing the data according to the quality dimensions right so we are going to use the concept of profiles to create a reference table now to create a reference table from a profile one thing i should make it very clear that we should have a pre-existing profile in that case. Profile should all be already be created. Only then we can create a reference table out of it. So in my folder, I'm having some profiles under the profile tab. That is this profile EMP underscore data. Let's open it this profile. This profile. I'll just run this profile to see the output again. I can just right click on the profile and select the option called as run profile. Okay. So this is the output of profile. As you can see, it contains seven rows. So there are basically seven row data and there are eight columns whose profile we have created. So this is basically a normal profile, which is also called as column level profiling. Now, from this profile, I'm going to create a reference table. So, uh, basically, the reference table which I want to create is for the department column. It shows it stores the department values, right? So, when I click on the department column on the profile, you can see it values appear on the right side of it. So, these are the values which are available in the department column of my source data. Now, as you can see, there are four values. And out of these four values, only three values are the valid values. The null value is not at all called as a valid value. So this null value will not at all be a part of my reference table. So to create a reference table for the department column using the profile, what I do is I select only the valid values in that department by pressing the shift key and the down arrow together. So all three rows are selected. I just right click and I just send to the new reference table. You can also use the option of existing reference table, but here I'm going to create a new reference table. So I say department underscore reference table is the name of my reference table. The location is the location, the area where this reference table will be stored. I don't want to store this reference table under the profiles. So I'll just change the location. I'll say in the AMAN, it should be uh, uh, only the AMAN folder. Automatically, it will store that reference table under the icon. Right? So this location will be the AMAN folder. That is your main folder. I click on next. Now here it says, this is the name of your department. Do you want to change the name of your department? Yes, you can change by just writing here any name you want to. I'm modifying the name. This is the data type and this is the precision. Precision basically the length. It, the, the length by default will be the highest level of length number of characters in the given input data. So I can change here 5. Okay. Now, then I have to click on finish. So when I click on finish, it will process my reference table and it will show you the output just now in front of your screen. So this is your reference table, which we just created right now. This is basically the overview. 
that is the name of your reference table right the number of columns which are there in the reference table and what is the stereotype what is the precision and so on now if i want to see the data in the reference table so for that i need to click on the data tab and you can see there are all the three values which we chose in the profile to create a reference table so it csc ec are the values which were there in the profile we just open it up and the only these values are sent to a new created reference table if i want to add a new new value i can do that also by just clicking on a new tab and adding a new value into it so this is how we can create a reference table in the data quality using an existing profile i hope you like the video if you have any kind of doubt do share your doubts and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day